Hey guys, so I am ready to start planting all of my annual flowers that I have for the no dig cut flower garden bed. So I have everything that I need here. Um, I'm just looking at everything that I have available and deciding where uh, every plant should go. There's a lot of noise happening in my neighborhood, so apologize for that. Uh, last night I was kind of working in a little sketch here uh, sort of guiding me where things should go. So let me show you really quick what I have. I got some scarlet sage salvias. These are in a red color. They are ready to be in the ground. I am going to be studying a bunch of uh, seeds as well. Some zinnias. Um, yeah, actually they're all zinnias. I have some Oklahoma ivory, some queen red lime, Oklahoma salmon. I have a senia senora from, from Floret. And I have uh, some Cinderella lilacs. These are the ones that I will be starting from seed or directly in the ground. And I have a bunch more over there that I have already started. Um, also, I have some white marigolds. I got these from a seed swap. This, I got the seeds from a seed swap and I think they're going to look gorgeous. They're like a double marigold. I started these as well. These are a lace flower. They are gorgeous. I also found some coleus. These are Main Street Ruby Road. The color on those is just outstanding. I just love that. The green, the pink, and the dark. I also have some bells of Ireland that I started indoors. I don't know how they'll do because they're tiny, but I'm going to give them a chance. I also have four of these dahlia tubers already uh, going. They are breakout. I have four of those. I got some uh, zinnias and some um, chocolate cosmos on the back. The chocolate cosmos are tiny, but I think they'll be fine. Oh, these I'm very excited about. These are the red spike amaranth. Look at that, look at that color. They're already tall. I think they these get like four or five feet tall. So we'll see how they do here. I have some uh, bunny tails here. You probably cannot see the difference very well. These right here on the right are bunny tails. And here on the left are, um, I believe those are either Craspedia or corn cockles. I think they're corn cockles can't remember and I have my gladioli I started the gladioli indoors about three weeks ago basically I just put them in the container I add water to it and they do their thing they start uh, rooting they start developing the roots and yeah I'm going to actually be bearing them about about this this low so this part here will be sticking out of the ground I also have some straw flowers here in mixed colors and I also already have my two hyacinth bean, hyacinth bean plants there. I am going to have two next to the obelisk and these are a maybe. These are Victoria blue salvia. These are a maybe because I'm not sure if I want them here. I have a lot of plants but not every single plant will be here. I just have like uh, like the red spike, amaranth, I probably just need like two or three, and but I have a pack of six. So I'm just gonna get what I need. I'm going to go ahead and place them where I think they will be according to their height, and we'll go from there.
Okay, so remember that I mentioned this? This is a really huge help for knowing, um, for reminding me about height and sizes of plants. That way when I am putting them all together, uh, I have a general idea of how, how well they will do. Um, sorry guys, it is so, so bright outside right now. Um, I have a red spike, amaranth in the corner. I got some marigolds coming here, some lace flower through here. I have um, I have the dahlias all the way in the back next to some uh, gladioli there and I have some uh, red sage over here. I will be putting some seeds for uh, zinnias right there. I got more zinnias over there uh, and I have some um, straw flowers there next to the obelisk. I have my one and two hyacinth beans and I have some gladiola as well, gladioli um, as well. I got some, um, I decided to do the Victoria Blue Salvia here because they're kind of shorties in the front. I think they will go well there. I got more gladioli there. I will be doing zinnias over there in the corner and I will have the bunny tails here in this side. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I am going to start working and digging and I am not going to be adding anything right now because if you remember this is the no dig flower bed that I did a couple of months ago. I have a layer of compost there uh, underneath the mulch so that in itself it's um, nutrients for the soil. I will be probably here in the next couple of days be giving them some um, uh, I don't know, some sort of uh, liquid fertilizer just so they can get going uh, because I think like my um, marigolds over there, they're a little bit um, on the yellowish side, but everything else, everything else is looking great. And um, yeah, I can't wait to, uh, I don't know, maybe next month show you how everything looks like here.